Hello, this is Andrew Perkins and this is part 8 in creating a blog using the CakePHP framework. In this video we will be using CakePHP's uh, validations to validate our data before it's saved to the database. Currently in our application we can uh, submit a post to our database and not include a title or a body. So we'll leave the form empty here. We're on our add action to add a new post to our blog. So we'll leave it empty and click create a post. And as you can see our blog allowed us to do that. It said the post was successfully added and we have a blank post down here. And it didn't complain or give any errors. So we do not want this functionality. We want to make sure that our posts all contain a title and a body and that our title is unique to the database. We don't want to have any duplicates so we'll do that using CakePHP's validations. Um, first I'm going to delete this empty post and I'll head over to our posts add action and let's go to our text editor under app under models open up post.bhp all of your validations should happen inside of your model and your validation should be stored inside of an array which is called validate so we create a new attribute and it's called validate and it's an array and now all of your validations are arrays inside of this validate array so for each of your field names you need its value to be an array and then you'll store the individual validations for that field inside of that array so all of your validations are just one big multi-dimensional array so here we'll say that we want to have validations for our mod for our title field and its value is another array and this is where we'll store the validations for the title field we also need to set one for our body and its value is an array and inside here is where we're going to set all of our validations for our body field so now your validations can be named anything you want and they are also an array so we're gonna have two validations for our title the first one's going to be uh, you can name these anything you want I don't know if I said that or not but you can name them however you'd like so I'm gonna call this one title must not be blank and it's an array and we want a second one to make sure that our titles are not uh, saved as a duplicate we want to make sure it's a unique title to the database so we'll say title must be unique and it's also an array and so now we need a validation for our body so we'll say body must not be blank and it's also an array so we're gonna have two validations for our title field and just one for our body so now we can use CakePHP's uh, rules to specify what these validations should do so inside of the title must not be blank validation we're going to set the rule key and we're going to use a cake PHP rule which is called not empty not empty will ensure that when the form is submitted the title field must have a value it's not allowed to be empty and then we can put a comma and we can specify the message key and this will be the error message that the user will see should they try to submit the post without a title so we can say the post must have a title or that's very good let's say this post is missing a title and now let's do our validation for the title must be unique we'll set the rule key and we're going to use the kphp is unique rule this will ensure that when we submit the form that our title field is unique it will not allow us to make a duplicate. If there's another post with a title that is the same, it'll give us an error. So we'll use the message key again here, and this will be the 
error message that will be given to the user should they try to submit it with a duplicate title. So we'll say a post with this title already exists. And now we need to do the body must not be blank validation. This will be very similar to our title must not be blank. Actually it will be the same. So we'll set the rule key and we're going to use the not empty rule again and we'll set its message so that it says this post is missing its body and we'll save it so there we go we have a validation to make sure that our title does have a value we have a validation to make sure that the title is not a duplicate and we have a validation that ensures that our body is not empty so we'll save that and we'll go to our browser and let's try it out uh, first we'll refresh our posts add action page and if you notice our interface has changed a little bit our title and body labels are now bold and they have a red asterisk next to them and that's giving the user a visual clue that these are required fields so let's check out the first validations to see whether or not we can submit these with empty values so we'll just leave it empty and hit create a post there we go you can see we have a bunch of errors it's saying the post was not saved please try again it's saying this post is missing a title and it's saying this post is missing its body so it looks like our uh, title must not be blank and our body must not be blank validators are working let's test out the title must be unique so let's go back to our index page and see what posts we have that we can try to duplicate alright we have a post with a title of first post so let's try to duplicate that post to test out the validation so let's go back to our uh, posts add action by clicking add a post and we'll enter in a title of first post and this is content for this post, we'll enter in some valid data for the body and try to submit it. And there we go, we got another error, it's saying a post with this title already exists. So it checked the database and it sees that we do have a post there already and it won't let us create a duplicate. So let's change this out and we'll say original title. And so now the validation should all pass and it should create our post. So let's submit it again. There we go, the post was successfully added and our post is showing up with original title and its body. So that's how you use CakePHP's validations. Uh, there's a lot more that you can do with the validations. There's many other rules that you can use that are already pre-written. There are rules for making sure that a form field's value is only alphanumeric characters. Uh, you can check the max length and min length of form fields. You can make sure that it's between a certain range. Uh, you can validate credit cards, dates, phone numbers, and email addresses. Uh, you can also do custom validations by uh, using regular expressions or creating your own function and passing that function into the validate array here. So. This is the basics and it will allow you to validate your applications. In the next video, we will be learning how to make our own custom layouts. Currently, we've been using the Cake PHP layout and it's provided us all of this styling and all of the HTML that you'd see inside of your source code. It provides all of the HTML structure for us. So we'll learn how to create our own custom layout.